Hello everyone and welcome back to Idiot Graph, the Minecraft series where you get to tell me, a professional artist idiot, exactly what to do. And we are starting today in our very sparse interior new house. So we have a bed, we have a cat, a dog, and we have a fireplace. There's really not very much in here yet. However, if we go over to here, we do have our tower. And you see our glowberries have been growing beautifully, which I'm very happy about. And of course, we've got our enchantment set up. I do need to do some more enchantment, but for that, I need to go and get some more diamonds. We're going to head down into the basement, because I've got a load of junk in my inventory, and I just need to clear this out a little bit. Okay, there we go. Feeling much better now. Let's head on upstairs, because as I said, I will need to go and do some mining to get some more resources so that I can do some enchanting and get some decent gear because right now we are still in iron well we've got we've got diamond boots but everything else is iron because we yeah unfortunately lost everything when we went to the nether so I'm not gonna bore you with all of the mining down in the caves I'll do a bit of that off camera but let's talk about what we are going to do today because for today's suggestion, I'm going to have to venture out into the Badlands. So we are looking for armadillos today. Uh, so I mentioned it last time and then I had lots of comments about, yes, we need some armadillos. So I, uh, I'm going to head out into the Badlands because apparently that's where armadillos are. They're also on the savannah, which funnily enough is where we are over here. So we'll do a bit of searching. There's more savannah off in that direction as well. So we will definitely go down there. And search but I want to do a little bit of preparation because you might be thinking why why are we searching for armadillos well our little friend here our dog so far is just being a lovely little house guard we've actually got a few dogs but look he's just just sitting here nice and sweetly however we can turn him into an armored tank of a beast to come out and actually help us with exploring which is going to be very useful when we're down caving if we come into uh, into contact with any most particularly skeletons uh, they would attack skeletons without hesitation but our armadillos will actually provide us with an item that means we can craft some armor for our dogs and in order to do that i think i need to do something called a brush now i have been doing a little bit of research i've said this before i am so terrible at remembering and learning things in minecraft but if i come in here and type in brush there we go so this has a few uses but apparently what i need is sticks copper ingots and feathers and i don't want to make all of these just yet because as far as i'm aware uh, these don't stack i've got plenty of feathers i've got plenty of sticks and i'm pretty sure i've got yeah plenty of copper so i think if i take those along with a crafting table, then when we go out and we hopefully find some armadillos, then we should be able to get what we need pretty easily. The other thing I'm gonna take with me is some spider's eyes because that is the item that armadillos need to breed. And I believe they attack spiders as well, just like dogs attack the skeletons. So I've got armor, I've got a sword, I've got everything else. I'm going to check the time of day. May need a little nap before I start heading out. And I should probably take a bed with me as well if I've got a spare one. Because we're going to be going out for a little bit of an adventure. And let's see how long it actually takes me to find an armadillo. So I'm just cooking up a little bit of fish. Uh, but whilst we do that, I just wanted to show you a little bit of a change around here. The house was very close to uh, the hill that was here. So I've just trimmed it back. Just have a little bit of a cut back on this. I might try and blend it in a little bit more, but there's nothing wrong with having this sheer face here. We might even be able to build into it, have a little work shed or something. Here are our other dogs. In fact, let's bring them both to the front of the house. Actually, this place might make a nice little uh, kennel for our dogs. Just turn down the sound a little bit for the cat and the dog because you, are very loud. You're a very loud cat. Let's go and check our fish. Let's see how that's doing. I think that's enough fish for now. Let's uh, have a sleep. And now we are fully prepared, I think, to go out on our adventure and start looking for some, some armadillos. Now, what I probably should have done is brought a spyglass with me, but that's another thing that I haven't replaced 
since our disaster in the nether. We'll have to go back to the nether at some point. Uh, because there are definitely things from there that I need to get. But uh, I'm just going to have to be extra eagle-eyed, I think. And keep my eyes open in uh, in the Badlands and in the Savannah. I mean, we've got both of those biomes right next to each other here. So hopefully we'll be able to find some armadillos on our travels. Always a good idea to try and get up high when you're looking for something in a biome. Get as, as much vantage point as you can to... To look around and see what there is. Ooh, the sky has just turned black. Does that mean... Right on cue. There we go. We've got a, a lightning storm. So uh, I actually should be able to, to sleep through this. So I'll leave it just for a moment. Hope that lightning doesn't strike anywhere and cause a fire. But, um... Ah, we've got some... Creeper boys over there. Maybe I should sleep. Let's just have a little nap, shall we? And there we go. That grey sky turns a lovely blue. I do have my sword and I've actually, I've actually repaired it a little bit. So uh, if we do run into any creepers, not going to be too much of an issue. <gasps> do you see what I see? I think we've just found them. Here we go. How many do we have? Look! Two armadillos, right? So if you run at armadillos... Oh, there's another one. If you run at armadillos, they curl up into little balls like this. If you just walk at them normally, they're absolutely fine. <laughs> but they are Look how cute they are. They are so, so cute. That was much quicker than I thought to actually find those. Let's pop down our crafting table. Uh, so these will occasionally drop an item called a scoot or a scoot i'm not sure how you pronounce it let's see how many brushes i that's a lot of brushes that might be too many brushes <laughs> okay let's just throw a bit of that on the floor right we're actually not too far away from our home either but if i go down here and hey i just brush the armadillo a sentence i never thought i would say then they pop off all these bits of scoot and you can get, let's see, one, two, three, four scoots per brush. So let's see how many I can collect. Okay, so I haven't used all of my brushes. I've kept quite a few of them uh, because there is something else we can do with them. But I feel bad that I've brushed all of these armadillos within an inch of their life and got all of the, uh, the scoots off of them. So... I'm going to do the kind thing and I'm going to breed some armadillo. So there we go. It's going to follow me because I've got its preferred food, the spider's eyes. There we go. So one for you and one for you. There we go. And we got a little baby armadillo. This is so cute. Uh, so yes, we do have a place where we've got armadillos and they're fairly close to our base. In fact, this is the village just off of our base, just south of our base, I think. Uh, so actually just over that ridge there is uh, is our home. So very, very nice indeed. Now, I'm going to head home and show you what we can do with these scoots. And welcome back. Um, so I'm actually here. I have a friend. I, I've brought our horse over who's just wandering around because I don't have a lead to hit him up to the post. I don't know where they have gone. But I'm going to demonstrate now uh, exactly why we want the scoots. Because just like a horse, you can see down here, I've got a piece of diamond horse armor that I found in a dungeon. And that means now, look at our pretty horse. It's now armored, much more protected. It's going to take a lot less damage from hostile mobs. All of that kind of stuff. If I go up to our house, because uh, it is starting to get dark. Let's just close this door. Let the horsey wander around a little bit. And I'm going to go down to a workbench. Now with the workbench, I'm going to take these armadillo scoots. And I'm going to create this pattern. And I've created some wolf armor. In fact, I'm going to do three of these. Because I've got... No, I'm going to do four. Because I've got four dogs. These do not stack. Which is good to know. There we go. And I still have a bunch of armadillo scoots left over as well. And I believe these can be dyed. So I've got some green dye. There we go. I'm going to dye one of these green. I'm also going to use this piece of green dye. So our wolf, which is 
in the house, I'm just going to give a standard piece of wolf armor. There we go. Look at that. Nice and armored. Let's, let's sleep. Oh, there's a monster nearby. Let's take care of that, shall we? There we go. Much better. We can watch the zombies burn outside. Now let's come to our dogs outside. Our horse has made its way up here as well. So one of these walls, I'm just going to give a piece of standard armor as well. There we go. But then this one here, follow me, my friend. You are going to be our battle hound. You're going to follow us around. So first thing I'm going to do is dye his collar green. There we go. There we go. Get him to sit down. Now I'm going to give him some green armor and he looks slightly camouflaged now look at that that looks brilliant so the last piece we have a uh, a wolf that is over at our farming district are you gonna follow me if i'm on a horse i'm pretty sure you should yes there we go so we're gonna head over there if i can get around these trees and uh, i'm gonna give the final piece of armor to that wolf and then we have more adventuring to do Okay, final dog. Here we go. Let's get that last piece of wolf armor and protected. I'm going to pop the horse away because whilst it would be wonderful to go and do some adventuring with our horse because it does save a lot of time. I don't know where that lead is. I need that lead to be able to, to tie him up when I'm not using him. So we're not going to do that just yet, but I will try in the future to find a slime chunk and actually do a bit of uh, slime farming because actually having leads and slimes and sticky pistons and all that kind of stuff is really a necessity. Uh, so I'm going to have to try and find a slime chunk somewhere and do a bit of mining. But what I'm going to do for now is uh, try and find an area where I can show you the other use of these brushes. We're going to have to do a bit of adventuring and try and find a structure that I haven't found at all yet so we're going to be heading out into the desert and here we are i have found what i'm looking for it's only taken four minecraft days to get here and uh, yeah more than a cup of tea oh there's a lush cave down here as well very nice oh and a creeper may do a little bit of exploring but the most important thing that we are here for is this the desert temple so we're gonna head inside very carefully with our sword out and uh, have a bit of an explore. Great, now it has been, it's been a while since I've done the Desert Temple, but I think it's still the same. Now, underneath here, there are some chests, but there's also quite a rough trap with, uh, with lots of dynamite down there. But I want to experiment with these brushes. So I'm looking for, ah, is this one? Looking for something called Suspicious Sand. So there is Suspicious Sand and Suspicious Gravel, which apparently just looks slightly different, but I can't, can't see anything that looks different here. Ah, I think I found one. Just from digging out a few blocks, I found something down here that looks slightly different. I need to clear out a bit of inventory because I've got like sandstone, and sand, I don't need any of this stuff. There's a few bits here that I don't need. But um, let's move this out of the way as well. Thank you. Right. So, brush. Now, if I right-click this, you see it's changing, and I'm getting a piece of loot. And I've got a diamond. Very nice indeed. I'm going to have a little bit of a dig around, see if I can find any more suspicious sand. And uh, see if we can find any more treasures. You know what? I'm not going to complain because we did find one piece of suspicious sand. But it seems like, yeah, that's the only piece in this whole temple. Let's now experiment down here. So, I'm going to very slowly dig my way down here in a nice little staircase and explore the treasure at the bottom. Be very careful not to drop anything on the pressure plate at the bottom. There we go, we've got all of that out. So now we've got these loot chests plus some dynamite. Let's have a look, we've got some rotten flesh, saddle, emeralds I will take. What do I not need that I've got in my inventory? 
Okay, not the, the best desert temple in the world, and I really have destroyed this place, I'm sorry. Um, but <laughs> let's uh, let's head out. We should probably, probably start heading back. Well, would you look at that? I'm having a little bit of an explore round, and just like buses, search ages for a desert temple, and then two of them pop up. So let's go, let's go have a little bit of an explore in this one. We've got a sword, we've got a pickaxe, we have got some torches. I think immediately I may see a piece of suspicious sand. Yes, what's coming out of this? That is a pottery shard. Where are you? The minor pottery shard. Shard, shard. Pottery shard. Um, okay, lovely. Let's have a little bit of a dig around, see if we can find any more suspicious sand. Okay, well, I, I've never seen this before. I'm uncovering a staircase down here. Just check that this is not suspicious sand. Is this a new thing in, in desert caves? Because I don't think I have ever found a staircase like this. Are you going this way? It would make sense. Ooh, suspicious sand, okay. Maybe I should head back to the other one and do a little bit more exploring. How bizarre. Ah, I think that was a piece of suspicious sand that I just broke. Yeah, there's a piece here, look. Okay, so good to know. If suspicious sand falls, it breaks whatever is in that suspicious sand. Ooh, piece of TNT. Hello. You look suspicious to me. Another pottery shirt. It is, but it's different to what we've already got. Right, let's start removing some items. That's the Archer Pottery Shirt. Oh, I've fully excavated this area out. This, you know what? I always wanted to be an archaeologist when I was a child. It's kind of given me my, my childhood fancy of being an archaeologist. Let's uh, pop a bed down because it is night time again. Oh, there are monsters nearby. Of course there are. There's going to be something outside, isn't there? Let's see if I can find a different spot. There we go. And again, we have got... We've got another shaft. In fact, I think... I've, I've got so many brushes. I think I'm, I'm just going to throw a few away. Yeah, terrible. I know. Uh, and I'm going to collect some sand and use the sand to... To kind of pillar up. Uh, there we go. Let's throw that down there. That down there. This time we're just going to dig straight down. Pop up a torch. And disable the trap. Let's just fill in this floor. There we go. We've got a good amount of uh, TNT. Which is going to be fun. Breach. I don't know that enchantment. What's breach? We've got golden apple. We've got breach. Okay. Let's, I'm going to swap you out. What else have we got? Lots of gunpowder, another golden apple. Oh, and a couple of diamonds, a golden apple, and channeling. Now that's for the the thingy, isn't it? The the trident. That's the word I was looking for, trident. Um, I think I'm gonna leave another brush. There we go, and then we can pillar our way out. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, that was, that was unfortunate. <laughs> oh dear, never mind. Right, we are leaving this ruins in much more of a ruined state than we uh, than we found it. But 
I enjoyed excavating that so much, I'm actually going to head back to the other temple that I found. And I'm going to do the same thing and see if it is like an area with a, a little room where we're going to find some some more of that suspicious sand. Also finding a lot of azalea trees in this, uh, this desert, which means there's going to be a lot of lush caves under here. So I'm making a mental note of this in my idiot brain to come back at some point and explore the lush caves underneath because, yeah, that's going to be so much fun. Well, I've just gone over to the other temple and I was absolutely correct. That stairway is the same in all of those temples. And it does lead to an area of sand where there is suspicious sand deposits. And I actually found a prize pottery shard, a skull pottery shard, shared. And then we've got the archer and the miner. I've got a few more diamonds, some more TNT. So yeah, very, very fun to do. Um, I am now going to head, but there's so many azaleas around here. It must be a huge cave underneath. I'm now gonna head home. I'm pretty sure this is almost directly south from, from where we're set up. So I'm gonna head back now and, uh, and let's have a little bit of an explore of what we have got and what they used for. And think about the next steps for this playthrough and what we're going to do. Because, um, yeah, I've got a couple of ideas. But ultimately, the decisions are down to you. So I may lay out a couple of ideas and you guys can choose what you want or not. You choose something completely different. I'm not trying to steer you in any way towards a, a direction. Of course not. But it might be fun to get a few of these uh, jobs that I've been meaning to do ticked off. But anyway, I'm going to head back and I will come back to you when I'm back home. Okay, so we're back home. I did die once, forgive me. Um, but uh, let's have a look at these pottery shards. So I've got some bricks here. And if we do this in this pattern, we get a decorated pot. However, if I take out one of these bricks and instead replace it with this... We get a decorated pot, but you can see minor pottery shared on one. You can see it has a little picture of that there. If I take another one out and pop that in, you can see we have it on two sides. So I'm going to make four pots. One with each side that matches one of these new things. So we've got the minor one there. We've got the... The archer one there, and then these we only have one of, so the skull and the prize. There we go. So you can have multiples of these, but I thought we might as well have four different ones. And then if we head up to our house, this might be a nice way to start start decorating and seeing what's uh, what we can do. But maybe we pop some down here. I don't know what sides these are going to be on. So if I pop this down, ah, it faces out that way. So that was the prize. This is the skull. Oh, of course, that's a, it's a gem. It's a diamond. Then this one. That's the skull, which is like a wither skull. And then maybe we have one either side of the fireplace as well. So we've got the archer and we've got the miner. So archer here. There we go. And miner. Oh, no, other way around. Miner there. Archer there, so we're starting to get a little bit of decoration. See, so they've got trim around them as well. I really like those. I think they're they're actually really sweet. They add just a little bit of extra decoration. One thing I do want to do today is name my dog outside. So we haven't done any naming. Hopefully, I've got enough levels. I definitely have enough name tags. Here we go. My anvil is outside. I don't know how much health my anvil has got, actually. It's uh, it's on its last legs for sure, but it's out here. Here we are. So I am going to name my dog Rufus. Rufus the Hound. Rufus did a good job today. It was very, very good company. So here you go, Rufus. <laughs> that is... That's Rufus. Need a name for the horse as well. We need more horses. We need lots of different things. But I'm going to end the episode here in my enchanting room because I definitely need to do more enchanting. And I'm going to go ahead and do some mining between episodes and just see how many diamonds I can get in, in order to uh, get myself fully kitted out and have some spares as well. But 
next time. I'm going to give you a few suggestions. Do we go back into the nether and try and find some blazes and blaze rods? Do we start setting up some of the automatic farms, which is going to require me doing a little bit of research beforehand? Do we build some interior on our house and over at the bakery? Or do we start playing around with villagers and uh, setting up a bit of a, a trading centre? The choice is yours. You can choose one of those. You can add your own suggestion, whatever you want to do. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe whilst you're there as well. But for now, as always, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And until next time, goodbye.